And joining me now over the phone to give us a little more insight into the American Physical Society is Becky Thompson, who's head of public outreach for the APS. Uh, Becky, first off, I want to thank you for joining me today. And why don't you give us a little general overview real quick about your organization? Hi, thanks very much. Um, I work for the American Physical Society. Um, it's the professional organization for physicists. Um, its main goal is to get physicists talking to each other through meetings and journals um, and things like that, but they also have a commitment to exciting and ex inspiring the general public, uh, which is where I come in. So we have a small department, three full-time employees, and we do a ton of different um, outreach programs. Um, probably our biggest the, what is the website that's actually hosting the Science Off the Sphere videos, Physics Central. We also do a series of comic books, a program um, specifically for middle schoolers where we send out equipment to do four fun physics experiments, as well as a lot of um, different um, exciting uh, education and outreach programs. Okay, and uh, can you tell us how, how did you uh, how did you guys get hooked up with Don? Did you reach out to him or was he, because we know he always liked to do the Saturday science stuff on his last flight, how, how exactly did you guys get linked up with him? Um, actually, it was a, a happy accident, um, just a lucky meeting at the National Science Teachers Association Conference. Um, we had a booth there where we were uh, distributing our materials, letting people know about all the programs that we run, um, and someone from Johnson Space Center um, Cindy MacArthur happened to stop by our booth and see what we were doing, and we told her all about our website. And she knew that Don really enjoyed doing Saturday morning science, but the biggest issue was that there wasn't quite the right place to host the videos. So she got in touch with us, and it kind of went from there, and we ended up um, being able to, to host and, um, and have, you know, create an audience for these videos, um, starting with the audience we already had for Physics Central. Uh, and it's a wonderful partnership, a great way for for, um, to let people know about our programs, to be able to show Don's videos. Um, we have a wonderful time getting the footage. Um, he is just fantastic to work with, sends us amazing, amazing amounts of footage, and uh, we edit them and put them on our website and have really created a following for that program. Well, he's certainly gotten down some great videos so far. Why don't we talk a little bit about your audience? You said you, you're focused on getting physicists to talk to everybody. So, And from what I understand, most of the people that are actually in your organization are physicists. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. Uh, we represent um, about 50,000 physicists, both um, in the U.S. and internationally. Um, and, you know, we're, we're really the go-to organization to both publish. Uh, we publish the premier journals in physics um, and to go to our meetings and just have a way to talk to other physicists about what they do um, and, you know, learn about the current research in, um, in different fields of physics. Um, but one of the things that APS really has a commitment to is, is other programs to get more people interested and excited about physics. And we have our department to do that. We have an education department that's focusing on um, creating physics teachers that have the knowledge um, to, to teach high school physics, to, um, also to make sure undergraduate education in physics is you know, successful. Um, we have a department that's specifically for uh, specifically talks to Congress, um, lets them know about the importance of research, and we have a group that reaches out to people internationally. Um, so uh, in addition to our um, commitment to getting people, to getting physicists to talk to each other, we also have a commitment to getting um, the rest of the population excited. Gotcha. And uh, so with, with these videos, you know, I mean, we're, we're taking a look again at that water droplet one, and that certainly caught my eye, and I can imagine uh, any school child or uh, even high school kids anything like that that are watching are just going to be instantly fascinated by it what about the what about our physicist uh, population are they have they been really excited because i i'd imagine they don't get uh you know a ton of video from uh this microgravity environment unless it's from somebody on the international space station what's their response been like um, it's been wonderful. Um, as you saw in the, the video that um, was just shown, every week Don poses a challenge question. And one of the ways that we can see who's, um, who's viewing the videos and who's really engaging is by looking at the, the, per, the people that are responding to the challenge question. And what's neat is we get a wide range. We get people that are 
you know, professional physicists or physicists by training that have moved into different careers. Uh, and that's neat to watch. Um, we even had one challenge submission that once cited a physical review letters article, you know, and so we have a wide range of people. And then we have middle school science classes that are also submitting answers. And so the physics community is, is absolutely loving that, uh, loving seeing what's going on, loving um, having a, a different way of looking at concepts that they've spent their life studying. Okay, and uh, I mean, real quick question: Among these videos, is there any? Has there been any one in particular that's been very popular with people? Um, well, there's uh, one that comes to mind: the anti-bubble video, which wasn't this past week, but the week before, uh, was picked up by a group in the UK and has, at this point, gotten almost 200,000 views on YouTube. So that was extremely popular, um, and we're really, really excited about the one that's going up today. It should be up in about an hour or two um, with water droplets on a speaker, and I think internally um, we are very, very excited about this one. It even has some neat music at the end. Um, so we're hoping that that one gets the same re reception that the anti-bubbles video has gotten. Well, it certainly sounds pretty cool, and we'll be watching out for it. Uh, what about, you know, for the future? Do you guys plan on doing these for the uh, the rest of Don's space flight? Absolutely. We will put up anything that he sends down. We're constantly um, excited about new footage. Um, we really hope he continues doing this for as long as he's up there. Um, we've gotten such a great reception. People are so excited about it, and we definitely, definitely love it and want it to continue as long as it possibly can. Well, it certainly seems like he's having a lot of fun doing them, and I know we're all having a lot of fun watching them. Uh, well, Becky, I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and anybody interested in seeing those videos, be sure and check out the American Physical Society's website at www.physicscentral.com slash explore slash SOTS. So again, Becky, thank you so much, and we'll be looking out for that video later today. Great. Thank you so much for having me.